check the paperwork, and then they are pre cleaned. Um, then there's their evaporating time, uh, usually about five minutes, sometimes ten. And then once they are evaporated, then they are ready to start processing. Now, once the evaporating time is up, uh, once we pick the penetrant and fill out our paperwork, then what we do is we submerge the parts in the tank, and then afterward, we'll put them on the rack so they can dwell. Uh, what happens here is the excess penetrant um, drains off, we retain it, and allows the capillary action to happen. If there is a crack, it will be able to seep inside, and after 20 minute uh, dwell time, depending on the specification, um, enables the, uh, the defect to get filled with penetrant. Sometimes we have to rotate the parts because of pooling, but uh, in this case, uh, they're flipped over and they're ready to go. Once the evaporating time is up, we have timers. Um, then we set and move the parts to the wash station. In this particular case, it's water washable, so I can go right to the wash station Our temperature and pressure gauges are calibrated. Uh, it's got to be the certain pressure and temperature. here I let my eyes adapt to the dark uh, about five minutes once the time is up I'm ready to inspect now these are in service parts so they're going to have a lot of background and all I'm doing is looking for cracks and also the material lends itself to be uh, hold the penetrant to uh, creating the background. Now, should there be a crack, there would be a a, um, a different type of green. It wouldn't be dull like this. It would be nice and bright. Now there is a indication here. I have to investigate. I'm thinking it's a, a scratch, uh, but we'll find out. I'm done with this, I'll do the paperwork, log it out, post clean them. After evaporating time, they'll be packed up and ready to go. Uh, 